so I've got a quick little review for you on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. And first off, I don't know what to call these videos yet. I'm still tossing around a bunch of ideas and I just can't make up my mind. So I think I'm overthinking it a little bit, but for now, it's a mini review. So like I said, it's on the Ambient um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. And so I'm gonna go over um, the colors that I got talk about the colors that they have in the whole collection, um, talk about kind of what they're about, pricing, packaging, all that kind of stuff, and my general thoughts. So lots to cover, and I'm gonna try to keep this short, so let's get started. Okay, first off, for pricing and packaging, this is what the packaging looks like, and it's just really beautiful, expensive-looking packaging, um, just kind of the traditional hourglass-looking packaging, really, really pretty. And then the actual product comes in this very reflective-looking case, shows every little, you know, fingerprint and whatever. I'm holding it at an angle so I don't blind you. Um, and then the other side has the product information and the name, so it's really, really pretty packaging. Then you open it up, um, there is a mirror back here. I don't wanna blind you with that, but then you have your actual product. Really gorgeous looking. So the packaging is just beautiful, and the product itself looks gorgeous in the pan. So the pricing on this, um, it is $35 for each blush, and you get 0.15 ounces in each. Now just for comparison's sake, um, the ambient lighting powders themselves that these are kind of based off of, those are $45 and 0.35 ounces. So you're getting over twice as much product for only $10 more. Um, now obviously you're gonna use a lot more powder than you ever would a blush, but it is definitely much more expensive than the powders are. Um, and then also as a comparison, MAC blushes are 0.21 ounces and they're $21. So, you know, you can just kind of see that, that these are definitely a more expensive product. Um, it's a more luxurious uh, cosmetic item. So that is about the pricing and packaging. Okay, there are six different blushes in this line. And like I said, I only picked up two because they are $35 a piece. Um, but I do want to share the other colors with you so you can kind of know what's available. Now, each of these has one of the ambient lighting powders veined within the product. So it's a really nice blush color mixed with one of those lighting powders to really add just a beautiful glow or a nice sheen to the face. So I think it's a really neat idea and I think they're very smart since the powders have so much buzz surrounding them. I think they were very smart to do these. So I want to read the other ones to you just so you can know what they are. And these are really hard for me to say. So if I stumble, I'm sorry. So the first one is Ethereal Glow. It's a cool pink blush fused with ethereal light for a moonlit luminosity. The next one is Luminous Flush, a champagne rose blush fused with luminous light to evoke a candlelit glimmer. Radiant Magenta is a golden fuchsia blush combined with radiant magenta for a summer glow. And Diffused Heat is a vibrant poppy blush combined with diffused light for a subtle halo effect. So they all kind of have different things going on. The ones I picked, this first one is Dim Infusion. It's described as a subdued coral blush fused with dim light to add warmth. And I picked this one just to kind of be a great everyday blush. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's just a really nice subdued coral color. Just like they said, it's, it's not a bright flashy coral. It's more of a great everyday um, understated coral. So that's the first one I picked. I'm gonna swatch them in a second. And then the next one is called Mood Exposure. It is a soft plum blush fused with mood light to brighten the complexion. And I picked this one because um, I don't have as many plums in my collection and I thought it was just kind of something different. And just based on the product, looking at it online, it looked like it was going to have a little bit deeper um, of a color to it. So I wanted to kind of be able to compare them for you guys, kind of a, a lighter color and then a darker toned color. So this one is Mood Exposure. Okay, here are the swatches. So the top one is Dim Infusion, and this one is Mood Exposure. So you can tell they are very different. Um, you know, they're just very different colors. Um, Dim Infusion is a very, very light coral. Um, it is just very understated. Now I'm about an NW20, and it, as you can see, barely shows up on me. Now I do have it on my cheeks, but that's after building it up a lot. And honestly, my brush was probably dirty and had other coral blushes in it. So um, this may not be so accurate, but on my hand, that's definitely the color. And that's after me kind of running over it a few times. So it is a very light coral. So I think if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't know that this shade would work for you. If anything, maybe a little bit of added glow on top of another blush. 
um, but it's just very light. And then Mood Exposure is a much deeper color. It kind of reminds me of Tarte's um, Exposed. Just kind of one of those great gonna go with everything sort of shades. It's really pretty. I played with it on my skin last night and I really had to um, blend quite a bit because it's very pigmented. So this is, you know, these are two different situations here for sure. Um, but I think this one's a really nice one just for every day. I think it's a beautiful color, but it's definitely deeper. So quite different, but both very beautiful, very kind of just glowy, but very um, light and glowy, not just in your face glitter or anything like that. So those are the swatches. Okay, overall thoughts and opinions, I really like them. They're very glowy and beautiful. They apply nicely and blend nicely. Um, they wear really well. Um, now, I did reapply before this video, but I got home from work after wearing it for like 10 hours and I still had some color left. So, they wear really well. They're just expensive. Like, that's really the only negative I have to say about them is that they're just a pricier item. Um, now, I don't think that they're like groundbreakingly different. But I do think that what makes these different is that they are more of a natural glowy blush. Um, and for people who may think like the Too Faced um, Perfect Flush Blush or the Maybelline New Highlighting Blushes are just like too in your face glowy and glittery or whatever, they would really, really love this because this is very naturally glowy. It's very, very natural on the skin and just brings a nice kind of life um, and youthfulness to your skin. So I really think they're beautiful. They're just pricier. They're just one of those things that you're gonna wanna look up swatches, maybe play with them in the store and see what you think um, before investing in them. Like I would maybe like to try one of the pinky ones. Um, I'm glad that I got these. I really do like them, um, but I wanna look into the pink ones. They have you know several of them. I listed them that I might wanna kind of try out. But uh, when I ordered them, they were a VIB exclusive, but I know they are going to be available at some point. If I can find out when, I'll list that down below for you guys. But they are really beautiful and just a very nice blush. They're just a little bit pricier. Okay guys, so that was my overall review on the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and definitely let me know, are you gonna be trying these? What do you think about these blushes? I would love to hear your opinions. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.